welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for stopping by my name is Amarachi Nzikwe and I'm a Nigerian currently living and working in Kaunas, Lithuania thank you for stopping by please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and check out other videos you might find a thing or two that may interest you and for my returning subscribers you already know that I love you thank you for coming back again to watch this video first of all yes I'm wearing a wig guys like this is a new Different look. I don't think I have looks like this on my channel. No, I haven't looks like this on my channel since I started. So, how do you guys like my look? I feel really strange because I haven't worn a wig like in a long time. So, but this is a special occasion, and special occasion requires special appearance. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, this is like a very emotional video for me because it is exactly one year since I left Nigeria. How time flies! Oh my God, it felt like yesterday, right? Uh, so like yesterday that I got to the airport ready to board the plane to come to Lithuania, a country that I only heard of last year and now I feel like play, it's already one year. Yeah, time flies guys. I still remember, you know, getting to the airport with my auntie and you know, she was the one who saw me off and I met the other people that was coming to Lithuania with and it was so emotional because I was thinking, oh my god, I'm not going to see my family for one year. I told, like I mentioned before, it was supposed to be like a one year opportunity. So the plan was perhaps, you know, come back to Nigeria after one year. So basically, from the plan, I was supposed to be back in Nigeria now, but I am here in Lithuania. So yeah, this is like a check in, check up one year later, you know, what has been, what life is like for me currently, what I've been doing, challenges I've faced, and the things that I've enjoyed. So let's just say that this is a retrospective for how the one year, the past one year has been for me. Let me go first mention that when I arrived Lithuania last year, oh my god, it was so cold. Like it's currently 23 degrees, it's currently 23 degrees and I'm like, why didn't I get this weather when I came? Why didn't I land? It was so hard guys. Like. It was so hard coming from Nigeria that you know that, you know, it's it's almost always hot all year round and coming and then immediately I land, I hit 9 degrees and nothing prepared me for that cold and now it's 23 degrees. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm happy, like I'm grateful for this weather, like I really love the weather and I'm just saying that it's like, it's like miles apart from what I experienced when I first landed in Lithuania this time last year. So I'm going to start by talking about the challenges I've faced in the past one year. So first of all, like I already mentioned, the weather, oh my god. When I landed in Lithuania, I was just asking myself, like, do you mean that I left my country to be killed by cold in another man's land? That was how I felt. It was so cold, I had never experienced anything like that in my life, and it took some getting used to. If you follow me on Instagram, if you had been following me last year, even if you just followed me, you can go and check my post last year. There was a time that um, <laughs> when I first came, like my house was really cold, guys, and... I used to sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> Go and check out my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Then I used to share stories about my abroad life. I don't share much anymore. But if you want me to share more stories, just let me know in the comment section. And I'll let you know how my sojourn in the abroad has been. It was always cold. It was always cold. And I never thought it would get to a time when I would not need a jacket to go outside. Honestly, like when the summer came... I was like, wow, so this country can be this warm. It was a shocker to me, honestly. But yeah, I'm just grateful for good weather. It basically makes the cold weather more bearable because you know that, you know, it's only for a while. So another thing that took some getting used to, another challenge that I faced coming to Lithuania was, you know, getting used to work. I was just landing in a new country and I started out and I started out a new job almost immediately. It was hard adjusting. I can't even lie. You know, coming to a place where everybody looks different from you, every other person in the office is Lithuanian and you are the only black. Okay, well, me and my two other colleagues, two of my colleagues who we resumed together, all Nigerians. But like, aside us, I was just resuming every other person was Lithuanian and it's just, it was just really something that I wasn't used to, you know, coming from a place where everybody looked the same and coming to a place where everybody looks different from you and then having to you know relax calm down and see these people as your colleagues and family it was just hard you know i feel like in the beginning it took a while for me to adjust to seeing these people as you know part of one family one work you know seeing these people as on my side if you get what i mean so it took a lot of getting used to and i think that i can say that now 
I'm in a better place one year later and I am more in tune with my colleagues. I see them more as colleagues and family than when I first arrived. And generally, it's just been nice because I feel like you have to first be comfortable where you work to be able to produce good work. And I think that I'm at a point where I can say that I'm comfortable with where I work. So yeah, that's something good. <laughs> Another big challenge for me was being so far away from my friends and family. So normally back in Nigeria, I had always schooled away from home. But there's just something about knowing that your, your family members are like, what? an hour flight away from where you are and your friends are by your side it just makes things bearable so even when you're not seeing your family often you know that you can't see them so it just makes things different from where you know that even if you wanted to see them you can't just up and be in nigeria or be um, in Aba where my family lives if i wanted to you know that took some getting used to knowing that girl you're here all by yourself and the funny thing is that it did not hit me immediately i feel like i took the first few months you know in good stride i was fine i was happy to be in a different environment and then after a few months like january this year it actually hit me and the homesickness came and flooded over me it was just a difficult time for me early this year was a difficult time for me you know knowing that i was passing through what i was passing through alone without my family close to me it was really tough like that's one thing that nobody prepares you for when you're traveling abroad the fact that even when you experience a loss you know you would have to mourn and grieve from afar that's like something huge <laughs> yeah but i'm so glad that you know i'm in this space uh, yeah i feel homesick once in a while but now i feel more at home i feel like this is my home i don't see it as oh yes i'm going back home like I'm, try I'm starting to see this place as my home and thinking about visiting Nigeria, if you get what I mean. I feel like this goes without saying, but one big challenge was the language. Oh my God. <laughs> I, like, it's so difficult, you know, coming to a place where everybody is speaking a language that you don't know. Yes. Um, yeah, to be fair, in Nigeria, where I come from, we speak like, we speak different languages. Like you can be with somebody who looks like you and they don't understand what you're speaking because my language is different from your language, but it's just entirely different when you come here. So it was difficult for me when I came here to adjust to the fact that these people are speaking a language that is not English and that is not something that I have heard before because I hadn't heard Lithuania before I came to Lithuania. So it was like, okay, do I have to learn this language? Okay, okay. And in the beginning, I didn't think that I was going to learn the language because I wasn't even sure if I was going to be here past the year. And I'm like, uh, if I'm going to be here for one year, what's the point of learning the language? But eventually along the line i said yeah let's do this and luckily for me and my colleague our company paid for um a lithuanian teacher for us and we started taking lithuanian lessons and don't ask me how my lithuanian is i'm just going to say that you know i'm learning maybe sometime someday i'm going to make a video fully in lithuanian but yeah that's gonna take a while but yeah i'll probably make another video showing you my lithuanian language pro progress now let's talk about the good sides of living in Lithuania for a year. First thing I'm going to admit is that living in a country in Europe gives me like access to so many opportunities that I probably wouldn't have gotten if I was back home. This is not a given and this is not justified. I know that a lot of people, you know, are very skeptical when they are trying to, you know, transact with Nigerians or trying to do business with Nigerians. And I know that for some people, they've had bad experiences. But I just want to use this opportunity to say that, you know, not all Nigerians are bad. And in every country, there will be like some bad eggs. But really, every time that people have left Nigeria to go to other countries or to work with other companies, I think there has been good experiences. So I'll say that, you know, I hate the fact that we have this reputation, you know, with people about what a Nigerian is like. But I like the fact that, you know, I come here and I've managed to prove people wrong that, yeah, not, um, this is not this this nigeria stereotype is wrong and i'm also grateful for the fact that you know i have the opportunity to represent nigeria where i am and make people see you know what can actually come out of nigeria so i like the fact that i have access to opportunities and i like the fact that i can be a good ambassador of nigeria 
I'm also grateful for the career development that I have experienced in the past one year. I came here to work for a a company, you know, outside Nigeria. So it was a different experience. It came with its challenges. It came with its learning. But I think that I have grown in my career in the past one year. And I'm definitely grateful for Digital Explorers for giving me this opportunity to come to Lithuania. Anyway, let me just plug it in right now that if you're in Nigeria and you're watching my video, Digital Explorers has a second, um, a second track right now going on. So if you know any entry level data scientists in Nigeria, let them apply. I'll put the link below for people who are interested in the Digital Explorers opportunity to come on a traineeship program um, in Lithuania. So this is just for data scientists. Another thing that I absolutely love about living in Lithuania is the fact that I can travel to a lot of places without needing a visa. Yeah, the Schengen privilege. And I'm happy. If you know me, especially from Nigeria, you will know that I love to move about. I do not like to stay in one place for a long time. And I just love the opportunity to be able to travel. Man, if not for this pandemic, I would have gone to so many other places. But I know that, you know, this is not going to last forever. And there will come a time when I'll be able to travel freely again and have access to all the places I can potentially go to. So yeah, I'm also happy, excited, and grateful for the opportunity to be able to travel to so many other countries, aside from Lithuania and Nigeria. In conclusion, I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for the experiences. I'm grateful for the memories that I have made here. I'm grateful for the new friends, for everything. I see this like, I see this as a privilege to be here and to be able to make this video one year later telling you guys about my experience it could have gone sideways it could have you know my experience could have been bad and i would never want to talk about it but the fact that i am here talking about this means that i feel like it's a worthwhile experience to share and i'm so 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 glad for this opportunity and let's see how uh, let's see what is going to be different and what's going to change in my two years updates but yeah guys here you have it this is my one year updates of living in lithuania i'm just going to say that if you want to move to a different country and you're worried about what the experience will be just do it i hope that your experience is going to be worthwhile i hope that you know you would not have regrets but you would have experiences and memories and lessons that would make you appreciate moving so yeah i have come to the end of this video so guys uh thank you for watching till the end um i'm glad to be doing this so please 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 if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel help me get to 1000 subscribers i'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers before the end of this year so please guys help me in your own little way help me get to 1000 subscribers like my video if you enjoy it so that youtube can recommend it to other people watch my other videos and all those things you know share my videos with your friends just be nice to me because you can be nice to me okay thank you uh i will see you in my next video